Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a Lego review. So hopefully you like this video. Please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I got coming out with. If you want to support my page, my Patreon page and my PayPal donation page are linked below in the corner of my homepage on my YouTube channel. So the set that we are going to be reviewing today is set 752426. It is called the Death Star Cannon. This set is retired. It came out in 2019 at 159 pieces from 7 and up. It does come with two minifigs with this set. It does come with um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and a, um, a Gunner um, Trooper. So I'm going to show you that right here. This is the Gunner Trooper right here. He does have chest prints, leg prints. He does have a back print. He even has a helmet print right up here. He is only one faced, as you can see here. I like the helmet that they used for this character right here. It's a very, very cool helmet. This would be a nice helmet for the helmet series. He does come with his own little blaster. He is the one that controls the gunner. And then you got your standard Obi-Wan Kenobi with his lightsaber. He does have the chest print. He does have no leg prints. And he does have a back print of the belt that he's wearing, as you can see right here. He does come with his lightsaber. I have, I think I have like three or four of these that comes with two different sets. I have him in the land, the two land speeders that I have of the two different years. Then I have him in another set. So this is him right here, pretty cool. Okay, so now the cannon itself. This is a pretty cool set, I think. As you can see, you can move the cannon back and forth, up and down. And as you know, in the scene, when Obi-Wan Kenobi comes over here and starts shutting down the, the reactor for the, for the, for the grappling thing that I was that will hook onto ships and stuff like that that try to leave or get sucked into the tractor beam. He goes and shuts it down with this here. This is what this is here for. This does come out. That's just there just to show you that's what that is for. And like I said, I lose the goal and I'll show you that a little later. And I loosely put Obi-Wan Kenobi right here and then I put the, the gunner trooper right over here next to the gunner. That's where he can move. Around, like I said, this goes up side to side, up and down, like this. It's very colorful. It does come with a, um, a, um, a spring shooter right over here, as you can see, and a little one over there. And then the colors, as you can see right here, that does have the red. Does have the red over here, and of course, there's the blue right there, and another red over here. It's a, a kind of a colorful set, I think. This set here retails for um, when it first came out, I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, when I bought it, I got it for I think 15, and uh, luckily at that time when I picked it up, it wasn't retired yet. So I got it on sale. Um, if you can still find this in stores, I would definitely go and pick it up. But I have not seen it in any of my Walmart stores or nothing like that. So the best place you can pick this up is probably eBay or PayPal. I mean eBay and Amazon. But you're going to pay, of course, a little bit more money for it. This, I would say... It has little play features for kids and stuff like that. Like I said, you can move it around, up and down, and all that kind of stuff. 
but beyond that point it doesn't have that much play features so but for the adults you can build this and like I said you can go and turn around and display it like I do this is what I will call a display piece um, because the kids are going to get very bored of it if they can't you know they can only move the cannon you know around like this here and move it around it, it's it, it's going to be not that playable for them they, 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 it's not going to attract their attention for where they want to keep on playing it and playing it and playing it but for the adults like I am who collect Star Wars and stuff like this this is a nice piece to have because it goes with the movie the old school movie um, it's a scene from the movie so you can't beat that you really truly can't when it comes to the older adults that collect these type of things like I do you know because I like to have scenes like this that is actually in the movie itself you know that's a very cool scene and then also I heard that next year they're going to be coming out with the garbage um, scene um, that is going to be a cool scene with Princess Leia R2-D2 I mean not R2-D2 Princess Leia, Chewbacca, Han Solo and all going to be in the trash compactor and they're going to make that scene into a Lego set I've seen pictures of it and stuff like that and that looks pretty cool so that's going to be another cool scene to, to have so I would definitely like I said give this set a definitely 10 out of 10 it's a very cool set to have very easy set to build I mean it, like I said this set probably took me maybe 30 minutes to build and stuff like that so it wasn't that long to build and then the two mini figures that you get with it pretty cool to get them so if you if you want to spend the extra little bit of money to go and get it on eBay and Amazon I would definitely go and tell you to go and pick it up because it, it's a cool set to have but if you like this video guys please like I said give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell to let you know about future videos I gotta come out with if you want to support my page, my Patreon page, and my PayPal donation page, I'll link below in the corner of my homepage on my YouTube channel. Now, the set that, like I said, we just reviewed is called the Death Star Cannon. At the set number is 75246. <coughs> Excuse me. It came out in 2019. It is retired at 159 pieces. And this is what it looks like from the box art. So hopefully you liked this video. Like I said, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a lot of comments below. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Until the next review, guys.